All right, what's up everybody? It's Joe from JLW Games coming at you with another cool video and an update from the Silver Dollar City recreation within Planet Coaster. A lot has been going on here, so I want to share what we've been working on lately uh, inside the park uh, since the last episode. So uh, anyways, I hope you guys have been enjoying this series, and I'm sorry that the uh, some of the, ep the episodes are kind of distant away from each other and i wish i could make them a little bit closer but um it just it is what it is that's what ha how it happens sometimes but um i just want to make sure that i get uh enough done if you know what i mean before each episode so um when i say that you know i just want to make sure that uh everything is um you know I, I get enough done in between episodes that way i'm not just sharing um you know, a little to nothing at the same time. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and turn up my audio on so you guys can hear all the fantastic stuff going on in here. Uh, but anyways, um, going through Valley Road, nothing was really done in here. Everything is still the same since the last time. So um, no changes have been made really in there. Um, I'll go over kind of what the biggest changes we have been doing. So I did do a little bit of pathing and a little bit starting on Fireman's Landing. We got Lake Silver in, so that's good. And uh, the biggest thing that we have been working on, that I did work on, was a couple things. So Powder Keg's entrance and getting some of the scenery done at Powder Keg. And the steam train now has a full circuit. So, And we've also been doing a lot of foliage around the steam train and everything, which is awesome as well. And if we go into the steam train, if you listen closely, we have audio. So yeah, we have some audio, uh, custom audio going in where you can hear the conductor talking about the park and stuff. Um, there is a slight issue that I'm trying to figure out with it but uh, the main thing is um that i got the audio in there so basically it lasts like it's actually very well timed out to be honest when it comes to uh pointing stuff out because they you know they always go like over to your left is fire in the hole and everything it's actually very incredibly timed out um the, or timed very well the only thing is, is the audio does carry over to the next cycle so it does get off after the first cycle uh but if you were to run just the first cycle um it's actually very very well done if we hop on here But he talks about the park and everything, and it's just really incredible of how well timed it actually came out. And there's nothing like riding the ri riding it. Uh, I can't wait until the entire thing's done. Like when the park's entirely done, riding the train is actually going to feel really special. But it's just incredible because, you know, the timing of it, as soon as it goes by the swing, he's like, to your right is Wilson's Farm, the giant barring swing. You know, it's incredible. I just love the ambience of the guests that they're talking, and it's so good. And there's fire in the hole. So he's talking about the Mystic River Falls, which at this point in this recording um, had not been announced. Now he's talking about the barn swing, so it's really, really neat. But I'm just so impressed of how well that turned out and everything. I even have the train going out over here and stopping for the um, the little train robbery show. 
And uh, I haven't done anything here, but I, I just threw down these guys for fun. Uh, but there's gonna it does I can I am able to get the train to stop for 60 seconds So I'm gonna do like a little condensed version of the steam train show and everything which is really really cool uh, Which is exciting so in real life this big turnaround is actually straight ahead like this way but uh, due to uh, the size of the park and the uh, boundaries I did went ahead and uh bent it over to this direction a little bit that way um uh we could still fit that in uh and everything so in real life it's not this close to like powder keg for instance it's actually like way over here but um just because of the boundaries it was something that kind of tweaked and it actually will work just fine um it doesn't really affect anything else i'm trying to just put enough trees to cover a powder keg just so you can't really see it uh, so it looks like you're in the woods when you're on the train as well when you're on powder keg uh, You might be able to see the train a little bit, but um, you know, you're probably not gonna be work looking that way that much um, But another thing we've been working on of course is powder keg itself We got a little bit of the entrance going on here and uh, Starting on a lot of scenery stuff. I've been working on like the transfer track and um, Different things like that. We have some new audio and new sounds that are uh, being placed into the um, ride as well. It has the announcement while you're on the transfer, uh, which is actually a really cool thing. It should be going off any second now as we listen. And this is the audio that plays when you're on the transfer. It's actually really good. And then you're launching. But I've also been worked started, just started not too much long ago, on custom supports for um, for powder keg as well. This first hill is completely custom supported. I need to put a couple more supports right down here, but I just started on the second hill as well, as you can see. And I think this brown color actually brown just brown orangish color turned out a little bit better looking than what uh, was on the ride originally, and I'm pretty happy with how that turns out. So these custom supports are very unique on Powder Keg, so um, hopefully they turn out great. And so far, I'm really happy the way they're turning out at the moment. And Powder Keg's got some very unique support structures going on for it, so it's got some interesting cross ties and everything like that, and I'm pretty happy with it. Another thing that I did kind of mess with on Powder Keg is I did uh, kind of redo the last section here. You probably wouldn't have even noticed if I wouldn't have brought it up, but uh, basically I moved this turn down here and I uh, had the lift hill start further down towards the the ground. That way I could make it longer and actually get it closer to this first hill and more uh, kind of accurate to what it's supposed to be. So that kind of helps out on that. And um, we also got this concrete thing, which is there. I don't know what its purpose was. I think it was leftover stuff from Buzzsaw Falls originally, but I'm not entirely sure. And uh, this guy over here is me actually just testing something. So when I do the cinematic version of, or the cinematic video for Powder Keg, I'm going to visually make it look like it is going on this um transfer track and to do that i need like a transfer ride of some sort to um somehow visually get us from here to up here without tilting the ride car so it needs to stay level and i was able to kind of achieve that with this i'm still kind of experimenting and hopefully we'll find some the best solution for that uh eventually and when uh we get into the movie magic stuff that'll be great for that and uh, i cannot wait uh, for that to turn out. So we also have the Opera House started as well. This is another one of the park's theaters. It's right next to Fire in the Hole. And this leads uh, leads us to create this um, backstage area, which is also good. Um, what I've been really working on a lot of is a lot of terrain work and just kind of landscaping um, around the steam train, uh, which has been a lot 
of work and I'm starting to try and get a lot of trees uh, and foliage around the park as well. It will help make the park look, oh, and you know, after you just start adding some trees and stuff, an area starts looking more completed incredibly well. I did also retrack a little bit of Outlaw Run's um, 153 degree outside bank turn here, and I'm pretty happy of uh, the state that it's in. Um, I'm constantly messing around with a lot of the uh, the track work on the, and everything, but I'm just trying to get as perfect as I can and everything like that. But it's starting to come along, and I'm pretty can't have to say I'm getting pretty excited and pretty happy with that. And of course, we have the steam train going all the way around through here. This is actually where the roundhouse is going to be, so we are going to have to build the roundhouse. Um, and of course. I've seen some really cool roundhouses built in Planet Coaster, so hopefully I can achieve the same thing, where you can see like where the track switches over, and we'll have uh, more steam train tracks going that way, and everything like that. So it's actually very, very neat um, of how I got all that uh, taken care of. So um, anyways, everything is starting to come together really nice, and if you did notice, I also placed down... Uh, kind of a rough sketch of American Plunge, which we'll, we'll get into that area maybe sooner rather than later because I haven't started on that area of American Plunge going back into Wildfire's area, and um, which we might actually get started here pretty soon. So um, I just have to get um, Lumber Camp started right here and just start working that way, and hopefully uh, we'll have... Um, American Plunge kind of in place and uh, start getting it going, getting the path all the way back to Wildfire, and hopefully we can get Wildfire in place, um, and hopefully, just hopefully, that I can get it in a spot to where it's not going to be this much on the edge of the map. It might end up being like that anyways, but it might be something we just have to... Uh, kind of live with, uh, but we'll see exactly where we're going to be at in the end. So um, anyways, I can't wait to get into Wildfire. I'll probably be retracking Wildfire quite a bit. This is a layout that I literally just threw together, and I'll probably be retracking it as well. And of course, once we get it in place and everything, we'll be custom supporting Wildfire as well, because the end game supports are just absolutely horrifying of uh, <laughs> and everything, and it's just not even close to what we need to be. So but lately, we've been uh, doing a good job, I think, of getting everything in place, and uh, Powder Keg's been my main focus a lot lately. Um, we do need to still kind of enclose Fire in the Hole. It's almost done. Um, I just got to pretty much close up some areas and uh, start enclosing the building. So that's basically it on it. All the scenes are basically about done. There's a couple adjustments I'll need to make, but for the most part, it's pretty good. It's now connected to the path. Everything like that. We did uh, do all this path going into powder keg section uh, and everything like that in the opera house. So that's some more paths that we did work on there, of course, as well. Everything is starting to come together, though. Um, we've been really working on this back section. Sorry about that. Autosave is making everything go crazy. But this back section is really, really nice, and I'm pretty happy the way it's turning out as well. Um, again, I've just been trying to smooth out a lot of these uh, paths, as you can tell, trying to get all this um, together instead of having all these random cl cliffs at the ends of uh, where I've been working on. So I've been really trying to get the uh, terrain kind of flowing better, and you can definitely tell that at Powder Keg right here. You can see all the terrain is nice and smoothed out. Uh, lately, and that's why I've been starting on some of its um, catwalks and everything like that. We've just been doing a lot of scenery and everything like that, so it's going to be really, really good, and I hope you guys stick with me through the rest of the episodes and everything like that because I am so hyped and I've been so motivated to work on this, especially with all the custom audio I've been putting in to the uh, into it lately so if you come up here we might be able to get this timed up sometimes it's not always timed properly so um at the crossing here there's a uh, audio that plays on the steam train you know car one wave and yell howdy car two wave and yell howdy car three wave and yell howdy car four wave and yell yeehaw and hopefully um it is timed the la the first time I did it it worked but um it, it, sometimes the audio gets off on custom audio and it doesn't work properly so um it it might be a, a lost cause but hey i always try so we're gonna see what it does here wait for it nope it's off 
go rolling off through line and everybody to be loud and proud and waving yell howdy. I'll accept you car for you back here in the side. Yep, see it got off. <laughs> see that's when it's supposed to be hitting right here. But that's the problem on the custom when you use custom audio on these things. Uh, sometimes it just does not work properly um, because um, when you go away from the steam train and go back in, sometimes it glitches the audio and the audio on the custom audio sometimes gets uh, a little bit off, which is uh, kind of crappy. But uh, I wish it was something that they maybe Frontier could work on. But uh, custom audio has always been kind of glitchy in. Uh, in that regard but you can see obviously this is the most developed area and now you can see this back area is starting to get some more stuff around it and more detailed uh, which is actually really really cool I'm excited about that and hopefully it'll all come together in the end the least detailed obviously is back here by firemen's in the riverfront area uh, which will hopefully will be starting on uh, as well so anyways I hope you guys have been enjoying this uh, series and I cannot wait until we get uh, closer to the finish line we're still far from it but I know how excited I am uh, I get to get this project done and I hope you guys are just as excited as I am of how the park's turning out because it's still very very raw and very early, uh, very very empty in a lot of spaces so it's still not looking quite there but it will get there eventually I promise and um, I, again, I'm just hard at work right now, and hopefully the next episode will be out very, very soon. But that's about it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe for more amazing content like this. And, of course, I will see you guys in the very next episode of Silver Dollar City Recreation. Thanks so much, and goodbye.